In this video I'll explain how to draw a normal density curve on top of a histogram using the ggplot2 package in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. So in the video I will show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 and 3 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right that a new data frame object is appearing which is called data and we can have a look at this data frame by clicking on the data object and then you can see that a new window is appearing which is showing the structure of our data frame and as you can see our data frame contains many rows but only one column which is called x. So if we want to draw these data using the ggplot2 package we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package as you can see in lines 5 and 6 of the code. I have installed the package already so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 6 of the code. So after running this line of code we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package such as ggplot and geom histogram as you can see in lines 8 and 9. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the bottom right of RStudio that a new histogram has been drawn. However you can also see that at this point no density is drawn on top of this histogram. Another thing that you can see is that the y-axis of this histogram is showing the counts of each of these bars in the histogram. And if we want to draw a density on top of this histogram, we first need to convert this y-axis to probabilities. So we can do that as you can see in lines 11 and 12 of the code. So in these lines of code I'm again using the ggplot and the geom histogram functions. However, in this case, I'm adding the AES function and within this function, I'm specifying the Y argument to be equal to density. So if you run lines 11 and 12 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that our plot is updated because now the Y axis of our plot is shown in probabilities instead of counts. Now we can use this in the next step to add a density on top of this histogram. So in lines 14 and 15 of the code I'm using exactly the same code as in lines 11 and 12. However this time I'm adding to this the stat function and within this function I'm specifying the fun argument to be equal to dnorm and the ix argument to be equal to a list containing mean and standard deviations of our data. Then I'm also specifying the color of our density and the size of our density. So if you run lines 14 to 20 of the code you can see that our plot is updated once again at the bottom right and as you can see this time we have added a density curve on top of our histogram. So in this tutorial I have explained how to add a density curve on top of a histogram using the ggplot2 package. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.